Alright guys, so we're back with another Tavern Brawl, Clash of the Minions this week, and it is a pretty hard Tavern Brawl. Um, I found it best if you use cards such as Divine Shields, Wind Fiores, uh, cards of Enrage, there's a few adapts in there. The Fledgling is going to be pretty handy if we can get it to attack the hero, but uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty difficult. Like I said, it is an hard Tavern Brawl, but every time we play something to the board, it's going to gain charge and it's going to gain taunt. Uh, obviously it's going to be the same for the, your opponent and it's pretty much a trading game. We need to clear the board and look for an advantage where we can get a few extra cards out and pretty much keep them alive. Uh, with that said, let's go ahead and get started and see how we get on. Alright, so we're going to want some low cost cards in our starting hand, uh, preferably, preferably uh, a few divine shields. Um, like I said, whatever we play to the board is going to gain charge and it is going to gain top. Alright. Uh, Zappomatic is going to be a good card. It's got Wind Fury and it's only two cost. Uh, also, Agent Squire is going to be alright for the first card. Uh, the Spellbreaker is a little bit hard. It's, it's a little bit high cost, shouldn't I say, sorry. Uh, it, it's a good silence mini, it's good for getting past the taunts if, you, if you're struggling to kill them. But, uh, but yeah, it's a little high cost to start with. So let's get rid of the Spellbreaker and the Berserker and we'll keep the other two. Alright, so as you can see there's an ancient, ancient Watcher there. Obviously he can't attack, he still can't attack even if he gains charge. But he is going to gain taunt, which is going to make it a little bit difficult for your opponent to get past. So we'll go out with him first hand and it, he's just on the board then. Uh, it's going to be, well he's going to help us get a few minions behind it. I mean if we, whatever we play is going to gain taunt anyway so it's not as if we can hide it behind this guy. Uh, Alright so let's go out with the Zaphomatic. Uh, obviously he's going to gain Munchiori and he's going to attack twice. Alright, so as you see, we're more Wind Fiores, Dust Devil, it does overload us too, but. I mean, do we play him now? Do we play him later? Alright, we'll go out with the Berserker and we'll also go out with the Dust Devil. And we'll pretty much force our opponent to play our own minions. Alright, so let's go out with. We well, probably should go out with our two Divine Shields and clear his faceless. So we do have two of them in our decks and they are going to come in really helpful. Uh, but. Yeah, let's just concentrate on. Trying to keep a few minions on the board and force it in pretty much to clear our minions. Alright, that's a, it is a really good card, but obviously it needs to attack the hero to gain its adapt. If, if it can attack the hero, it can be really powerful, so just be careful. We, we've also got two of them in our deck, uh, they do work pretty well. Alright, so do we go out with the Divine Shield, or do we go out with the Berserker? No, Alright, we'll go out with the Berserker. So, minion, really rage, 5 damage. Really, we'll want an opportunity where we can clear his board and then play the faceless so we can deal damage directly to the hero. Um, this could be a bit difficult. Alright, we've still got our uh, chosen, so we can go out and clear. It's fire element, whatever it is, yeah, fire element. And it's about. Alright, so he's still got six mana, what's he gonna do with that? Oh, 
Uh, okay, so all right, so we got two flameless uh, facelesses here. We can they're gonna work pretty well for us. Obviously, we've got this opportunity now where he's got nothing on the board. He's got no taunts out. We can go directly for the hero. Uh, if he happens to put a minion out and clears our next faceless, he's only gonna be clearing it. He's probably not gonna have enough. He's probably not gonna have enough mana to clear our faceless and also clear another card. Such. Alright, so we'll go up with our faceless and we'll also go up with our Berserker. Uh, we'll use the Berserker to clear his totem and he will gain him rage. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so that's looking for a w looking like a win for us. Uh, this time of brawl is pretty difficult, you might struggle with it. I found, I found that it worked pretty well with the cards I used, the Van Shields and the Taunts. Uh, the Divine Shields and the Wind Fiori, sorry. Uh, but it might take a few attempts. Alright, so. Let's clear his Defarian. Yeah, so, uh, like I said, Divine Shields, Wind Fiori, they seem to work really well. Uh, it is a hard Savin Brawl, so you might struggle a little bit, but keep trying and you'll eventually get there. Also, you're going to get your free card pack, and I think we are still on double gold this week, so that's all good. Alright guys, so that was Clash of Dominions. Thanks for watching. See you soon.